when I was 17, I drank my very first beer. <laughs> it's not what I would say. It's not true. I had beer much earlier than that. But I say 17 because today is day 17. Today is day 17 for our rum calendar. Yeah, 24 from... days of rum. Yeah. That's 1423. 14. What he said. Some numbers, yeah. Since he wasn't letting me say it. Oh. So let's go to 17, which is it here. Happens. It we, does. We finish each other's sentences or sandwiches. sandwiches. But so, he, uh, we don't because I don't let him touch my sandwiches. Yeah, we split sandwiches sometimes, though. So, we get really uh, yes, big this ones to do that, though, with. Yeah, is this day 17 rum? Uh, Polaris Constellations rum. rum. Yep. I don't know what that uh, means. Unique and magnificent. 30, 30 years, years old, old Solera. Solera. Interesting. So Ooh. this is not truly a 30-year-old rum. It's 48% alcohol by volume. This is from the Canary Islands. I've never had Canary oh, Island rum. This should be interesting. Yeah, so Solera aging, basically what it is, is that you the producers are batching off different rums over time. And then um, there's... In the end, there's a blend of rums that come off of it. And the age statement on a Solera is actually referring to the oldest rum in that Solera. And typically, by the way, the Soleras are blending it. There's not really a lot of the oldest uh, spirit in the final batch. But there is going to be some 30-year-old spirit in that final batch from the Solera. A small amount. So this will give you smooth out your characteristics. Oops, touched my nose. Smooth out the characteristics of the rum because you're going to get those 30 year aged rums and the other aged rums mixed in with the various years of rum. So, uh, Canary Islands, too, pretty neat. Canary Islands are where? Middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Not the middle, closer to Africa and Europe, I think. Closer to Africa, probably. Geography. What'd you get a smell, Julia? I get faint butterscotch caramel the little dustiness i get a strong anise on this one i could see licorice or anise like i wouldn't for me it's not that strong but i can see it when you point it out yeah it's definitely a lot stronger uh than the last the last one we did from india uh yeah where that one was more caramel butterscotch this one is definitely more anise -y. Yeah. Do you get that dustiness? Do you know what I mean when I say like dustiness? Like you smell it and it smells kind of like dry. Mm -hmm. Like a dry wooden box or something. Yeah, I can see that. So I'm going to have a sip. Hmm. I wonder what kind of woods they use. It's very, you can taste the tannins from a wood. I think it's tannins. They just burn right away. Yeah. And it tastes kind of tanniny, and I wonder if that's from the wood. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a, like, sherry influence on this, even though it doesn't say that. Because I also get sort of a sweetness at the front. There is a sweetness on the front, yeah. So it's, like, sweet and then sharp and tanniny. But, like, the swallow, I don't think the finish There's is... no burn down your throat. Yeah, it's there's right no in your mouth. Burn. Like, I, yeah. the burn started right on my lips. And then when went into my my mouth but it was like yeah. right there on top right at the beginning you know what we should have been doing the whole time that we did all 17 of these is having a little bit of water in and doing that one drop of water uh, to kind of see if it opened up but yeah eh, whatever mm. dead space that i'll edit out yeah <laughs> but uh no i think it's fine as a sipper i think it tastes like something that's been aged in wood for a long time, and that's probably the influence of the Solera. Um, and surprisingly, for a 48% alcohol rum, surprisingly smooth. Yeah, there's that bit of burn at the beginning, but it's got really nice flavor, especially if you like um, licorice uh, mm -hmm. anise flavor, uh, a little bit of caramel and sweetness. I even, like you said, get that sherry slash port um feeling, feeling um and taste uh but this is really good and uh yeah. definitely check it out if you can yeah other than that yeah 
Fly to the Canary Islands and buy a bottle. Thanks yeah, for liking, for sure. <laughs> and, commenting, and subscribing. So don't forget to subscribe so you can see what else yeah. is in our box. Click that bell and thanks for drinking with us or watching us drink, whatever you decide. <laughs> However you want to do it. Yeah, cheers. Cheers.